This program contains strong language and sexual references throughout. It's Mike's Rob, just in absolute shock. Something, mate. Something, bro. Matty. Rob, nice Good to meet you. Good to you. You're right, yeah. Sweet, bro. How are you doing, mate? I don't know. It's just. I don't know where. I don't know where my head's at. Bailey. But it's a face you didn't expect to see. Huh? Oh my god. You're right. What are you doing here? It's a face of the face you didn't expect to no, see, babe. the job. You right? Babe, no. You sure? Uh huh? You good one? No. No. I'm Rob, I'm 27, I'm from London. Me and Bailey together for about six or seven months and we've only recently split up. It was serious between me and Bailey, we had a good little laugh, but I think it was the wrong time. I think now it is the right time and I can sort of see a future with us two. I know there's feelings there between me and Bailey. I know she's still missing me. Tell them, mate. Hey, obviously, when I come into the villa... Yeah? Um, take it as easy, whatever, for the first couple of days and whatnot. And then George walks on. Yeah. And I sort of was... here with George in the villa. Okay. On all the time. Not like intentionally, it wasn't even, we both have said we didn't even plan it to, but I think where there's no one else in the village that you even get on with, you like, like someone from home. I knew they had something previous in the past. I'm pissed off. I feel like I've been let down a lot. So, what you got to say about it? Just put your hands in, put, put, put your head in your hands and that. I don't know, like, like, Rob, listen to me, right? It wasn't actually intentional, like, at all any of the slightest, as, as you know. Well, I mean, in all fairness, it's not, it's not the honest truth, is it? Um, <sighs> after one date at a geezer, you kissed him, so you didn't, you weren't thinking of this fella. You weren't thinking of him at all. Please, well, it ain't about you, Bobby. It ain't me. about you, Bob. It ain't about you, Bob. It's about Rob. Shut up. Nothing to do with me, but it's bang out of order. Shut up. I ain't about you! That's what I'm saying, it's bang out of order. You got to show your true colours. I know he's out of order! Show your true colours. Did you have a stressful day? Oh my god, you have no idea. So yeah. do you think you've realised? Like do you think you've realised that you actually like me more than you think you do? I've not got on with anyone. Since I've been dating, oh, it's scary. the same as I got it's on scary, with you. Like. We're like soulmates for like jelly and ice cream, peanut butter and jelly. I'm not normally like touchy feely. You're not normal. What? You're not normal. No, no, no. That's why I love you. Oh, weird. You love me now, do you? Ah, yeah. see? Oh, come on, see. Mate. You know what I mean. <laughs> We're gonna get married, have kids. Rob, as the latest ex, you have the extra power. You came here to find out the truth. Would you rather see the truth about what Bailey's been up to in the villa before you arrived? Or would you rather leave now with your head held high? The choice is yours. Oh my God. Do you know what? There's only a couple more days left anyway. I'd rather see what she's been up to. Oh my God. What the fuck? Fucking hell. Can't watch it, can't watch it, can't watch it. Fucking hell! Oh my god! I can't believe I'm stood here watching Rob watch George and Bailey bang each other, while George and Bailey watch Rob watch them bang each other. I've never seen shit like this. <laughs> I felt sick to my stomach, Rob having to see it. Like, I just didn't know where to look. I do feel sorry for Rob. It can't be nice to see, but... This is fucking A grade entertainment. That's you with your boy, There's obviously no fucks given, mate. It shows a lot about the girl. I ain't really got much more to say about the old situation. It's done, it's dead. 
She can go fuck herself.